over here in his history of the church, uh, from January 1844, page 584, he says, and rebellious niggers in the slave states. Yeah, nice guy, wasn't he? This is the prophet Joseph Smith of the Mormon church using the term niggers mm -hmm. for black people. And you know, the image is, see how wonderful we are, we love everybody, we're so tolerant of everything and every person. You can argue with what I say about it, but you can't argue with photostatic reprints of the original. Yeah, because this is all coming right out of Mormon literature. Right. And uh, the, the listeners just heard themselves, and of course we get into Brigham Young. And it, no, <laughs> it gets even worse. It gets even worse with Brigham Young and, and with Joseph Smith, the founder of this religion, mm -hmm. calling the black people niggers. And the documentation is all here. I've got a handful of it right yep. here in this, I saw in that. this book. Right. It, all these are actual photocopies right out of Mormon literature. Right. Uh, here's something right out of the Book of Mormon. Uh, looks like uh, Third Nephi chapter 2, verses uh, uh, 15. It says, And their curse was taken away from them, and their skin became white, mm -hmm. like unto the Nephites. You know, as you just flip through these things, you find all kinds of uh, things that are... In, well, this one's real long. I won't read that. But let's see what else we got here. Uh, where here we have... Uh, For behold, the Lord shall curse the land with much heat, and the barrenness thereof shall go forth forever. And there was a blackness came upon all the children of Cain, Canaan, and they were despised among all people. Do you know how the blacks got to be cursed according to Mormonism? According to the Mormon doctrine, they were less, they were, um, less valiant in the pre-existence. In the pre-existence, there was a war in heaven mm -hmm. between Satan and Jesus. And Jesus won. The demons were, Satan and his direct followers were cast out. The guys that didn't do much in the battle, they didn't, didn't fight much, they were cursed with dark skin. One black lady, uh, talking to Bill McKeever, who's the director of Mormonism Research Ministry, said, let me get this straight. When we got this black skin, we were white. We did the wrong thing, and we got cursed with it. So we were white. So, so the white people did the crime, and now we have to do the time. Is that how it works? In Mormonism, the answer is yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing. Amazing. Here I've got something by the prophet of the Joseph, uh, Joseph Smith himself here. It says, from his history of the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints, period one. History of Joseph Smith, the prophet by himself. So apparently he's authoring this himself. And uh, going here uh, to page 29 of the history of the church from May 1833, he says here, 13th, are the Mormons abolitionists? And his answer, no, unless delivering the people from priestcraft and the priests from the power of Satan sh uh, should be considered abolition. But we do not believe in setting the Negroes free. And as you go on through here, he says the Negroes or sons of Cain. That's right, who were cursed with dark skin, according to Mormon doctrine. Exactly.